Hey everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to go over how to get your Azoth Staff Tier 1. So if you're following your main quest line, we'll open up our journal. And the main story here, it says The Corruption Expert. So once you get to, it looks like about level 12 and you're running through all the city, or your, the starting city that you're in and you're completing all the quests in there, you're going to get more and more quests. You're going to unlock your faction. You're going to get to choose your faction. Um, there's no bonuses to what faction you choose. It's based on preference mostly. Uh, you can choose it based on how your gear looks, how many people on the server is choosing what faction, if your friends are playing in a certain faction. Um, but eventually you're going to come to the Corruption Expert, and it's going to give you these tasks to complete. Use your map to fast travel to the Spirit Shrine. That's optional. If it's optional, you do not have to do it. If you don't want to waste the Azoth to do it, if you haven't gotten the... Sh or if you don't know how to teleport, whatever. Uh, we're going to go over that anyways because I'm going to teleport over there. It says, search for the mysterious old man at the Fisherman's Bend. Talk to Jonas Alazar. Alright, so we're going to go to our map. We're currently in Everfall. So if you come down here, you can see the quest is here. Uh, let's see, are we tracking that quest? Nope, we can pin it. Alright, so it is our number one quest because we have nothing pinned right now. It's J to get the journal. You can select what you want to pin, unpin, what auto pins and auto unpins. Um, anyway, so this is where we're headed to. So if you want to teleport somewhere, you just need to click on these icons. As you find remote teleport stations, you'll see them show up on your map. You can fast travel to those. And we're going to try to fast travel to this. We have a little bit of Azoth. We're running kind of low. If you're hurting for Azoth, the best way to get that is to run expeditions, uh, do corruptions, complete quests, uh, kill enemies. They'll give you a bunch of stuff. You can also... My favorite thing to do to get Azoth is, if you watched my crafting video, is to have the tools and put Azoth Extraction on each one of those. I don't care about any other abilities. Azoth Extraction is the only ability I care about because it feeds your, it helps you craft better weapons, better tools. It helps you to teleport everywhere, get around faster. So as you can see here, Azoth Extraction is what I go for. Because there are better ones and you can get more speed and all kinds of other different things. But it's not worth it. So once you teleport to here, we're going to run over here to this guy. Because our current quest is to get our Azoth Staff, which is a tool. And you're going to need that if you want to clear corruptions and if you want to join and go into the expeditions. So we're going to talk to this guy. Complete the quest. Like I said, it's a low level quest, so it's not really going to give us anything good right now. You do end up getting higher level Azoth Staffs. I believe the last time at 55 I had a tier 3 Azoth Staff. I doubt we'd make it that far right now because closed beta is coming, coming to an end. Alright, so we can just press E if we wanted to zoom through all that, which is what we're going to do. And then the quest will update. It says, search the ruins of Elioth for clues about the hermit's past. You can look at your compass to find out where you need to go, or you can just press M. So he wants us to travel up here, back to Everfall. My recall is currently down, so we're going to for another 12 minutes, so we just got to run up there. So I'll make my way up there, and I'll see you guys once I get there, and we'll start working on that quest. Okay, guys, continuing on with looking for the ruins of Elioth, clues about the hermit's past. We're over here in the ruins now, so we'll just head to the quest marker. It should get us really close to what we need. And like I said, we're a little high level to be here, but it's fine. So we need that placard right there. It's glowing blue. They've made everything a lot easier to see. Used to, it was just there. <laughs> and you just had to get close and search. Oop. Alright, so we need to search nearby ruins for more of the Soul Warden's Oath. Alright, and like I said, always grab these chests. So as you just saw, we got Samflux and Tannin. If you plan to craft or if you just want to make money, that's good stuff to sell or to keep for crafting. Alright, so we're going to run down to this direction. Don't be don't be scared to jump off cliffs every now and then. Sometimes it's a great shortcut. Um, this area can be kind of tough. The mobs here can be a little bit strong, but usually if you're doing this early on, you should have plenty of people here to help you. Um, even if you all just mob it together, you don't have to group. You can just all kill whatever's in the way. And like I said, you can jump off these cliffs. You'll take like 400 to 1,000 points of damage sometimes, but you'll be alright. It's a good shortcut to keep from having to run all the way around, keep from having to fight through everything. Um, these, there's the placard there. These guys, like I said, right here can be kind of strong. And you can get a couple of ads. But let's see if we can take him out. He's an elite, so he's going to hit kind of hard. And, of course, he's ranged. My, uh, <laughs> my worst thing to have to fight against. As you see, most people are going to jump in there because they've probably been waiting on somebody to help. Alright, so we'll crush these little wheat mobs. Alright, dude, if you're gonna fight it, kill it, man. Quit running away. 
All right, so we'll come over here. We'll press E to click on that. You can read it if you want to. Grab our loot. And uh, the next one, I believe, is going to be farther up the path. Yep. He's running around because I guess he's scared. All right, we could probably ignore these chests. Like I said, the beta is coming to an end. We're just running through some quests, do some quick how-tos to help out the new players. I want to say there's one more strong mob in here somewhere, so y'all be careful if you are the proper level to be here. I'm a little high, so we should be fine. Should be good to go. Did a lot of fishing and a bunch of other quests, so my overall level is good. My weapon mastery is still kind of low. And we'll just add on some mobs. Here's a cool looking tree up here. And just follow the quest marker. You can run the edges if you want to kind of avoid all these links and all the ancients that are up here roaming about. There's a good chest here, and then here's another Soul Warden's duty sign. And then it wants us to go back and talk to Jonas. So he's, again, way down here. That's also a tier 3 fishing spot, so a good place to fish if nobody's there, but it's always it's usually always packed. A lot of people like to AFK there. So I'm going to head back down there, guys, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so we made it back to Jonas. Let's go ahead and turn in our quest. He'll give us the next part. And as I said, this quest line progresses all the way until he gets to Brightwood, then he'll send us all over the place. Let's eat us some food. We're getting kind of low because I had to run back across the map because corruption is everywhere. Right, now he wants us to visit Ancient Tower of Arcturus to learn more about the Soul Wardens. So if we scroll out, we should see where that's at. It's going to be up here in Everfall. Uh, there's a lot of running, a lot of teleporting to do in this quest. That's why it, I assume it's near <laughs> a teleport. So let's run over here and see if we don't have enough Azoth to jump across. Like I said, we're getting low. Beta's ending in a, like an hour or two. Normally this is something you'd want to do a lot earlier on. Is my recall up though? We could just recall. Yeah, let's just do a recall so we can save some Azoth. And you can recall anywhere on the map. I just I forgot it was only like 10 minutes out when I was running back and forth. So we've made it over here to the next tower, the ancient tower of Arcturus. Pass through the Soul Warden Seal and investigate the top of the tower. So this is like a lower level area. We should be fine here. We'll just run through here as fast as we can. If everything adds on, we'll kill it when we get inside. Didn't that mean to swing that? <laughs> And we're just going to follow the quest marker to wherever it wants us to go to, which looks like it's going to be over here. Now then, it's probably going to be above us, I would assume, though. Come on, guys. Would y'all like to group up? I'd appreciate that. Alright, so sometimes with these quests, they'll want you to grab stuff out of crates. Uh, the only thing I can think of is it's above us, because this is all like low level stuff down here. So if you can't find it where you first enter, go up a level. If you can't find it there, then go go look for a cave or a way to go down deeper. What we need to do, I believe, is go through that teleport. So let's kill off any ads we've got. So it says it's 13 meters in this direction. We'll check here, but again, I believe it's above us. It's been a minute since I've done the tier 1 quest. Alright, so we'll walk up to this. Soul Ward, still press E. There we go. Make our way to the top. And we're getting closer. Right, now that we're up here, it says defeat fallen soul warden. Search for clues at the hermit's connection to the soul wardens. So you come up here, just grab the notes, kill stuff off. Alright, so we'll grab that. That was one of the clues we needed to find. There's the guy we need to kill. Let's take him out before somebody comes and snatches him away from us.
Like I said, I'm high level, so I just kind of, <laughs> I just tank. I don't need to worry about blocking at this point. And that cleared the quest. So we grab the chest like we always do. You can search around, grab more stuff up here, kill more stuff if you'd like to. Personally, we're just going to head back down. Stairs are still kind of weird. You'll fall off more than you'll <laughs> walk down them. And we're going to head back over to Jonas. We made it back to Jonas. Let's see what he needs us to do now. Complete the quest. Where will you send us to now, good sir? I investigate the adamant mine for clues to the fall of the soul wardens. So we check that out. We're going to be going to back up here. So we're going to hit the teleport. We'll hit this one and we'll walk our way over there. We're currently in the adamant mine. So let's go ahead and get to searching. So we're going to go for all the notes and everything else that's glowing blue until we get done with this. Everything here is level 15. There we go. We got that one. Grab this loot. And keep making our way up. So you don't see anything glowing there. I believe there's some, like a cave we go inside up here to get everything we need. Nothing there. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. What's up, buddy? I guess I could just go for the quest icon. That makes more sense. <laughs> As you can tell, guys, I've been going pretty hard. I'm getting getting tired trying to push out it, all, all this stuff in such a short amount of time. I, I meant to get more done in the closed beta, but I was enjoying the game so much I didn't get as much as finished as I would have liked or cover as much content. All right, so you can see on the map we got some gold up here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this guy. So this guy's an elite. Uh, there's gold in here. He's pretty much guarding it. There's cooking herbs here what we need is up there on the altar you can sometimes you can run up here and just grab it without having to fight this guy so we can read that now it says to go back and talk to him so if you wanted to you could do that then run in and out now he's this guy's mad at us I guess we can try to kill him yep, should have blocked it yeah we need to block this guy he's a little strong all right and he's down Take that, buddy. We got a note over here. We'll grab that because I'm trying to get to level 28. I got some gear I want to put on and check out. I don't really want to grab any chest right now or any ore. So, like I said, we're going to head back over to Jonas. We made it back to Jonas. We made the run. It wasn't that bad. We just did it on foot. So, let's go and see what he needs us to do now. Hopefully, we get our staff soon. Come on, buddy. You've had me run across the map like 15 times. <laughs> How many other places do we need to go to? Where are we? Where does he want us to go to now? Back to all the way to first light? Really? Man, we're teleporting down there. We're not. <laughs> we are not making that run. All right, so we made it to the bridge. Uh, it says it wants us to defeat enforcers, sentinels, and silologists or something. Uh, these guys spawn pretty quickly, but everybody fights these as they come through here. And if you need them, just jump on one that somebody else is fighting. It'll be okay. Of course, you're going to retreat. And, uh, we can scrap whatever that is, prob probably. Let's see, are you one of my guys I need to take out? Yes, sir. Come here. Moving right along. Oh, come on, get up there. Jump for it. How, how did you retreat three steps? <laughs> this game sometimes, that's where. Alright, and if y'all are doing the first quest that brings you to this bridge in first light, the note is like hidden right here. Like, I know a lot of people miss that, so we'll just cover that while we're standing here. Let's see, you want to come fight with me? Yeah, let's have let's have a little party over here, guys. A little powwow. Alright, now we just need to defeat the fathomless guys. 
Hey, we'll probably need to take these out. They're in the way. And there's three of these guys on the bridge. Um, one's right here. Be careful not to fall off. Huh. I guess I only wanted to kill two of those. That's fine. Now we need to head back over to good old Jonas and see what he wants us to do now. Okay, old man. What do you want now? Still not ready to give us what we want? Level 27. Not bad. Could be much higher level, but I played on two different servers this time around to do some recruiting. All right, yep, yep. Are you still? We're still not done. <laughs> oh, we need to get the. Okay, so now we're gonna go collect the pieces of the staff. So we need to go to the Trader's Hold. Where is the Trader's Hold? Way back up there. Thank you. What is this? We okay? We can teleport to Monarch. We have made it to Trader's Hold. So we need to get to the cache, which uh, I'm not really sure how to get there. So you kind of zoom in here. We're going to need to follow the path up and around. So that's what we're going to do. Slaughtering everything in our path as we go. Because they need to get the hell out of the way. We wait on no ancients or zombies. I don't know what we just ran into that stopped us. But a oh will. We're just going to run through here. If we get a bunch of ads, it's fine. We should be strong enough to handle them. Because they don't want none. I hate those guys, the Grenadiers. They're kind of mean. They do pretty, pretty good damage. Like that right there. And they stun you so stuff can catch up to you. I'm coming for you. And there's some good iron in here. That's uh, nice to see on the compass. Let's just run through here. A bunch of level 13s. I'm not sure if we need to be on the upper or lower level. That's where I guess it's above us. Let's head on up. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Coming through. There's a blue item. Wait, how do I, do I need to run around to get up there? I see you up there, item. Oh, I need to I need to climb. Can I reach it? Where can I reach you from? I shouldn't get in corners. I hate getting in corners. That's a bad place to be. Alright, we'll just jump up here. Pretty good place to hide this. We got a note. Okay, okay. You guys are in the way. You want to fight? Come on there. Bring it. Bring it. Tried, tried letting y'all live, but you didn't want it. Nope. Just had to die. Alright, so we got the note. We'll grab that. Get us some... 160 experience for that and then we'll open the cache then probably time to what, head back to Jonas yeah thanks buddy okay Jonas what do you want now where 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 can we go across the map for you now good sir optional visit the spirit shrine in Everfall search the mysterious for the mysterious woman that communes with the angry earth okay I remember that now we're getting into territory. Remember, I know it's way the way the devil up there. <laughs> All right, so it says visit the spirit shrine. We're obviously at the spirit shrine. <laughs> we already had it. Lucky us. Now then, let's head over here and talk to this old lady. She's going to want us to do some nonsense. Because she communes with the angry earth. We've almost got the staff. We're getting really, really close now. That wolf's going to get mad at us. Don't mess with me, wolf. I'll kill you. I'll wreck you. I'm gonna go up here and you leave me alone so I don't have to waste my time on you. Nope. I'm cursed. Usually you can zone things out if you can climb up on stuff. But he's still chasing me. Alright, so we're gonna run in here. She should be in here somewhere. We'll talk to her. I think there's a note in here somewhere also. Oh, here's the angry lady. You tried on... All these old wardens are old and angry people. And the one that's seen all as can be, so. <laughs> now we need to go to investigate Canary Mine for the cause of the blocked Azoth flow. Alright, that's right here. We'll just walk on down, start slaughtering some bodies. And drop them like it's hot. 
Cut down corrupted tendrils. All right, good thing we're a little bit high level because the tendrils are elite, and they hit pretty. Hard. They can hit pretty hard. <laughs> So these are the tendrils. We're going to wipe them out. If it does a slam attack, it'll hit you multiple times, so dodge it. Here. Oh. Would you just die already, tendril? Thank you. I'm sure if there's anybody left playing, they're going to appreciate us killing, the, killing these for them. What's that, big one? Let's see this attack. We're going to do a shift and get out of the way. Hey buddy, I just I just need you to die. I don't I don't need the back talk. Did you drop me loot? Would you, would you give me some health potions? I'll take those. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, where's the? We got one down here. We've got some over here. We'll go for this one. Of course, you knocked me to the ground. Stop interrupting my attack. Stop it. Alright, now we need to destroy the clotting carapaces. So those are going to be up here in the cave. The higher level you are, the less aggro you'll get. In case anybody's wondering how some of these things are not aggroing me. These are the carapaces that we need to destroy. And they explode. That's always fun. Luckily, we heal on crits and stuff with our great axe. So those are done. We need to go talk back to the angry lady again. What a beautiful fountain of death. Well, the fountain corruption blocking the flow of Azor through Earthly. You have done. You are. Right, girl, I'm on the clock. Let's, let's go. All right, we need to acquire water, petal cap, and river crest stem. So that's going to be across the map. Water obviously is easy to get. Uh, can we gather water from her weird fountain? Probably not. Petal caps are these green plants you find on the ground. Let's see. Do I see any on my compass? Normally I gather all kinds of stuff as I play, but this time I did not do so. She wants to make us something. So I'm going to run around and collect all this, guys. We'll be back when it's done. All right. For anybody wondering, we just, like I said, we ran over here to this pond. It is a hidden fishing spot, too, so that's cool. On um, this is Rivercrest. You'll see it around water sources a lot of times. So you can just gather it with a sickle. We need three of these. I think there's, yeah, there should be enough around this pond right here. So we just got two off of that one. I guess we'll just, that's too deep. We'll have to run around. You can make it across a lot of these even if they're deep. You usually have enough breath, but uh, we're not going to risk it. Jump, my son. Use your ups. Grab some notes for some bonus XP while we're here. There we go. Now then, where's my river? I should have gone straight for the river crest before somebody else stole it from me. He's a, yep, of course, of course you're level 18 and gonna attack me. Well, come on, come here. Oh my god, quit dodging. How can I use my ability? All right, so grab this. It should be enough. We can grab water while we're here, too. And we still need more of that because we've got uh, proc on that. So there's our water. We can grab, grab fresh water from anything. The petal caps are these green cabbage, fat-looking perennial-type plants. You'll see them laying around. I think the easiest place to find those is around Windsward City itself. I have not seen any here yet, surprisingly. Alright, so there's a river quest, and I'll be back once we find the pedal cap. Okay guys, so just like I remembered from the closed beta, we teleported over here to Windsward City, and right outside the city, so there's the city gates, you'll see these big green plants, these are fronded pedal caps, and this is what the quest wants us to get. In case you can't find them or whatever this is they're like all over the place here and this will be the third one that we need so we're gonna like, craft a corruption tincture at an arcane repository very well then 
we'll run into here, we'll do that, and then I believe we need to head back over to that other area. If only we had a horse, we could get somewhere. Let's see where? Yeah, the Arcan's on the. Of course, it's on the opposite side of the city where we're at. Fun times. Uh, if you need water near the city, obviously, if you're in this city, you can grab it just from the canal that runs through it, or you can go to a well and get some. All the way over here is the arcane repository that we're looking for. Come into here. You'll see the craft. I if you need to craft something, it'll have the yellow icon on it. So common corruption tincture. We're going to go ahead and. Wait, how many do we need? We need three of those. Two and three. Yes, plus 108 arcana. Doing great, great things. And then we need to go back to the angry lady. We've got about 50 minutes left until the beta closes. <laughs> I think we should still be able to finish this though. Yeah. Just give me my give me my orb, girl. Alright, where do I need to go now? Confront corrupted at Ebon Rock Cavern. Alright. Alright, I'll, I'll fight some corrupted. It's pretty close, so we're just gonna run straight over there. Alright, so we're at the cavern. There's a lot of enemies around here, so if you're low level, just make sure you're on your toes. We need to kill these hounds, it looks like. Alright, we just need to kill anything, okay. Goodbye, good sir. You're next. I said you're next. Thank you for listening to my wishes. Hello, friend. And goodbye. What's up, buddy? And then we need to run back to her again. <laughs> You gotta love it, back and forth, back and forth. Alright, give us our angry seed, and then we need to travel to Fisherman's Bend. Alright, old man, you better give me my staff. We've been running these quests for you all day. Are we done yet? <laughs> make my... Oh no, we gotta go somewhere to make it, I think. Acquire silver ingots for your Azo... Man, I wish I knew we needed that. Okay. Alright, so here we are. So there, in here is gonna be a... I think it's an elite that we have to kill. And then we should be good. I don't know why I thought it was in the uh, Amarin Depths Expedition. Or not Depths, but the Amarin Expedition. Because you need the staff to even run it, so... Alright, what's up, Ezra, the Forge Master? I need to uh, need to borrow your forge there, buddy. Now this guy is usually heavily camped when you first start playing the game, so if you rush this quest, there's gonna be a lot of people here. And a good way to complete it, just group up with a bunch of people. Alright, he's down and out. We got a note we can grab here. And then we'll do the Forge of the Cross Piece. Forge in, and we're forging. Bam. Now we need to go back and talk to him again. Okay, moment of truth. Is he finally going to let us have a staff? Because <laughs> I'm... I feel like we've ran all over the map already. Forge your Azoth staff. Visit the Shattered Oblisk to forge your Azoth staff. Where the... Where in the devil is the Oblisk, guys? Are we going to go all the way up here now? Fine, 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 fine. So we need to go back to Everfall again. Alright, I'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, my friends, welcome to the Shattered Obelisk. Obelisk, however you say that. Here it is. Big old thing. Been destroyed by probably a god or something. I'm sure we can find out if we actually read the lore. So we're going to head on over here. This is the Starstone Barrows. We can show you that really quick. This is not where you're going. <laughs> so this is recommended at, uh, what is this, the level 35 one or something? You need three players, one Azoth Staff. One Starstone Tuning Orb and level 35 is recommended. Get off of me, son. I'm trying to do a tutorial here. Don't need you interrupting. So don't think you need to get in there. When I first played, I kept running there like, Oh man, how am I going to get in there? I don't even have a staff. 
So we need to actually get to the top of this. I think we're going to teleport up and kill something. So the first expedition slash dungeon that you can run is Amarin. And then from there you can run Starstone. Once you, you don't have to be level 35 to get into it, but I, I'd recommend it. Um, Starstone is kind of a pain. It's, uh, it's my least favorite expedition. Uh, I, the depths are fun. I like the mobs there. I like the graphics there. That's really cool. That's level 45. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I ran the depths until, like, 50, 55. Then I started questing again. Got some good gear out of there. Did some Starstone. I've got videos and all that if y'all want to see how to do those and how they work, if you're interested. Now we're just going to run in here let that guy have some fun. He seems to be doing okay. Come here, blue glowy circle. I do like the fact that they added these. It makes it easier to find where you need to go. And we're going to craft this staff. Magical floating beans, go. Yes, we got the staff. Now we need to go back to Fisherman's Bend. Okay, so we have returned to Jonas once more. Complete the quest. Get tons of experience. That's a good part. And then uh, he should want us to go here to the city. and Yeah, so he wants us to go to the city to use our staff to wreck it. So it says, use your Azoth staff to drive back the corruption at Harplas Homestead. So that's going to be right here. Alright, so your, your Azoth staff, or staves, because you'll get multiples, they're just like tools. They go right here in this bottom slot. Buffalo, bison, y'all suck. <laughs> when you hit those guys, they run away. You have to chase them down or have ranged weapons or a mage or somebody with you to kill them. Make it laugh easier. Alright, so it says, destroy the corrupted nodes with your staff. So this quest is hard to complete um, initially because so many people are over here doing it. That's usually why I hold off on doing it. Because, like, you'll get all the mobs and you have to kill them and then somebody will take your orb that you just cleared. Alright, so then you're going to look up at these. And this is the same thing when you do corruption and certain things in the dungeons. Man, get off me, bro. Tutorial time, man. Did I get the memo? Alright, so you look at that, you press E, and if you get the claim, because like I said, the other people are rush you for the claim, and you do this in the expeditions also, and we just destroyed that. And you just rinse and repeat until you get uh, three of these knocked down. So we'll just come over here and wreckety wreck these guys real quick. They feel quick casting darkness on us, or corruption. And if they hit you while you're doing this, it'll interrupt you. All right, you two guards. Why can't we be friends? Why do y'all keep hitting me? Bunch of squishies. Get out of here. Are you still chasing me, dude? Like, crawl faster. We have like, I have like 10 minutes left before the beta ends, guys. I need you to quit. Bam. Alright, back to the old man once more. Um, eventually, like I said, he will move in a minute and he will go to Brightwood Fort. And that's when you know you're making progress. Yes, I want to complete the quest. Thank you, good sir. Right, now he's gonna offering to give us a ring, travel to the excavation, search the excavation for a heart gem. So that is... The Amran excavation that's going to be here. This is repeatable. You can do Bark Medes quest over and over again. It gives you really, really good experience if you want to level as long as you have the tuning orbs. Did he give us a... Yeah, so he went ahead and gave us a free tuning orb for that. So once you complete this quest, you'll have this tuning orb. Then you have to make these once you use your tuning orb. Um, most people want you to have a tuning orb if you join their group so that you can run it five times in a row. And then we'll get rid of his crap gear that he gave us. Just go ahead and delete. Well, not delete. Hold S and left click. All right, guys, but that's as far as we're going to make it. We don't have time to run Amarin, but like I said, I've already got videos on that made where we ran it. So if you want to see that, want to see how it works, you're more than welcome to catch those. They're on the playlist for New World. Um, as always, if you like this content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate any feedback. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. If you got questions, let me know. I'll answer those for you. Like I said, on the closed beta, I reached level 55. 
I probably could have gone for 60, but I wanted to test out fishing, crafting, and all the different things you can do. And I wanted to explore the world map while I was strong enough to run around and do everything. So besides that, I will catch you guys on the full release September 28th, as long as they don't push the date again. Y'all have a great day. Mm -hmm.